before we get into the video kind of towards the end or so i get super triggered so hope you enjoy that one all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode of road to ultimate black collar now i am pleasantly surprised that you guys have been tuning into this series i didn't really get to shoot them anyway i'm pleasantly surprised you guys have been tuning into this series i really thought it was just going to be a flop and we would be starting hyperion mo's already um <laughs> So much so that I actually recorded episode one of that series after I got done filming uh, for episode one of this one. So, yeah, thank you for that. Um, I think in this episode, obviously, we're going to be hitting level 40 and we will be finishing up the story. And along with that, we are going to be finishing up some shrines, just kind of wrapping up everything before we go take on good old Chaos Chambers. Because, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we have next, that... That is the goal. I am going to go as far as I can in that mountain of hell until I just flat out can't take it anymore. So we'll we'll see how that goes. But if you guys do go on to enjoy the series or this episode or whatever the heck you want to say, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let's get to it. Oh yeah, I don't know if I've shown this yet. So when you change this to sticky mode and you reload, a big ass sword just comes out of the ground. That is so cool. Oh, really? That's for making me look at you. <laughs> this gun's fucking awesome. Alright, there we go. There's that shrine down. I think we only have one left. I think it's the red one. Um, oh, yeah, by the way. Thank you guys for not making a giant deal out of me pulling inventory out of my bank on this playthrough. Um... <laughs> The farming rate in this game is terrible. Um, it is either barf bunnies or it is uh, get lucky and just get a drop. And quite frankly, I just didn't want to didn't want to deal with that, uh, especially since the only thing I'm really pulling is the goblins repellent. <laughs> you know, the the cool thing about this series is it showed me that if I want to play another Borderlands title or whatever whatever you want to call this one, I call it a Borderlands title that I can do it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I'm open to the idea of doing Borderlands 2, but I've established this many times. I'm really bad at that one. <laughs> uh, it is it is not a game that I'm great at, by any means. <laughs> this, hands down, is one of my least favorite bosses in Borderlands entirety. Kidding me. Like how my game's glitched and it just looks like I'm playing Call of Duty Hardcore mode. <laughs> With the amount of shrine piece stuff that I have to do, uh, I'm more than likely going to hit level 40 here pretty quick. As you guys can see. Um, I still have a lot left to do. Yeah, level 40, baby. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Slab, did, did you go to your bank and pull stuff out that you got the other day playing Chaos 100? And your answer is, you damn right I did. I, I sure as hell did. <laughs> I don't care. I want to plow through these as fast as I can. I earned them. I got them fair and square. Yeah, bro. We're, we're pulling them out. All right. We have knocked this one out, too. Bam. There we go. Cool. Alright, so looks like we got our myth rank unlocked finally, and I'm thinking poison damage is an obvious one. Alright, so now we can go ahead and push on to finish out the story. That should have been all the shrines there done, unless I'm completely forgetting one again. But yeah, now we're just going to push to finish out the story, and afterwards endgame. Wonderland's endgame.
Oh, thanks, dude. I wasn't gonna make that, but he pulled me up. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, well, I deserve that. Oh, that was sad, wasn't it? Damn. This is messed up. Don't, don't me. He's just able to summon the book by himself. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. No Alright. Final boss fight time. the big ass dragon or did we dick on him so hard that that got skipped alright damn it got his ass I'm getting hit oh yeah Yeah, you could have done it as, I don't know, DLC? On a real note, it's actually insane that they never made a, a DLC, like a real DLC for this game, because, like, there, there's so many things you could have done, dude. Like, honestly, you could have done a DLC, and, and I've talked about this one before, I think. Where it's just like previous villains from other games, you know, like like if you want to throw like Tyreen, Handsome Jack, uh, General Knox or something like that. Or you can do like an all DLC villains thing. They're playing in heck or something like that and your fate maker is going through and fighting heroes or whatever from previous Borderlands games and stuff. You're revisiting areas and all kinds of stuff that uh, were in previous titles. Like, dude, that... like. Literally, you could do anything with this game. Anything. Why? Because it's a fictional imagination where you take different characters and they're making their own story. You could have done like side characters, for example. That would have been really cool. Um, you could make like previous Vault Hunters. You could do... Well, oh, hell fire. What? Oh my god. Well, here we go. It has uh, officially begun. I think I killed everything so hard my game just like froze for a second. <laughs> Oh yeah, this will be easy. Damn. <laughs> we'll just see. I don't know if this is going to be bad or not. Or not. Okay. Okay. Alright, that was not that bad. Uh, well, thankfully, that's the early chaos chambers are going somewhat nicely. Look, guys, another enemy I can't kill because I'm not specced into melee. This challenge fucking sucks. Finish enemies with melee. If you're not fucking melee built, then. Oh my god, I hate that challenge. Like, I can't kill these guys, because when I go to melee and they start eating my fucking ass, and I can't... <sighs> it's only game. 
Why you have to be mad? What did I do? <laughs> what? what just happened there? Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.